is good. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Left the wheels down. I thought something wasn't right. Alright, there you go. It's working. It's working. A lot of debris down there. Getting a hit right over here on the cricket. Getting a hit on the cricket. So I made it out here. Lost my glasses in the in the lake. <sighs> that was fun. Guess uh guess uh I'll have to make a trip to Bass Pro Shop. And then I got caught in those lily pads over there. The wind is pretty intense. And as I was trying to hook that up. It pushed me into those lily pads, and then I got stuck in the lily pads. That took like 15 minutes. That, that, that took like 15 minutes to get out of there. That prop was all messed up with debris, and so was that one. And I had it in reverse, and then I slammed it in forward, and I went, I almost, I almost fell out of the damn boat. All right, we're gonna go somewhere else. The wind is really bad here. Let's go in here. I've been in here before. Just having a hell of a time keeping position it's very windy out here it's very windy so I went down this little cove some people come out here up on the bank and they'll fish I just got to get out of the wind it's pushing this boat and this, this dude this lake is deeper than I thought that anchor uh-uh it doesn't hit bottom it doesn't hit bottom. It's just windy, man. Today is a windy day. See, look at it. I'm just having a hell of a time. But, uh... The wind is crazy, dude. I will, um throw out right here see what happens but man what are you gonna do I needed to come out and do this test this thing and it's working great um, it's just a windy day windy 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 day all right well since I'm here Let's walk along this bank. Maybe I'll get something. Hopefully my boat will stay. If it doesn't, it'll just uh, go to the very end because of the wind and then I'll figure out how to get it. Let's go 
down here. And I like this. This is nice, man. This is nice. Just come out here on the uh, with the boat. Get on this bank. Maybe that's what I'll do from now on. Instead of being in the boat. I love that boat, I do. But you know, it does, uh, there's a chair out here. It gets pushed in the wind pretty good. Who's this? There's a chair out here. What's What's chair. What's this? is uh, the other little cove. Now this could have some promise. It's just out of the wind. I wonder if I should get my boat and come down this little cove. Oh, I could see it from here. It's right up there. So yeah, we'll just fish. We'll fish this right here. See what happens. This is where I was earlier. I was out here, but the wind was drilling me. Check this out here. I get hung up in those lilies. When I pull it in, I'm sure. I'm getting hit, getting hit right here. A good hit right here. All right, little bluegill. All right, I'm gonna move spots. I was fishing off of a bank and I don't like being that far away from my boat. So I'm gonna move spots and I think I'm gonna just go back to that bank. It's just, it's hard being in the wind. It's very, very hard. <clears throat> Give me it. All right, here we go. Pretty smooth. Whoa. Whoa, watch your head. Alright. Back out here. It's wind. Better. Let's go up here. 
check something out before I do that. It's just so much wind right there. Let's go up here. to get some shelter up here in a spot. All right, I'm pretty much protected here from the trees on this side from the wind. So I'll pretty much stay stable. I'm gonna run this. Let's see how this works. All right, all right, all right, all right. I saw a fish jump over here. This guy fishing over here, right there. I was fishing on the bank, and uh, he said, how you doing? And I said, oh, not too good, how about you? And then he goes, it's your birthday coming up soon, right? And I said, no. And then he pointed at his headset, he was talking on the phone with someone, probably his grandson. All right, I'm done. Time to head in. Nothing but little tiny fish, bluegill, I guess they are. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, it's getting hot. It's just getting hot. But uh, I mean, gosh, man, this, uh, Inflatable floor is just it's great. I love it. I really do. It's it's great. But uh, it's like one. I'm burning, dude. I didn't put any suntan lotion on. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Right, let's go. Let's go. it so uh it's 1 17 p.m i got here around eight so uh 
I mean, the inflatable floor is just, it's great. It's great. If you're going to buy that boat, I, I wouldn't, I mean, they come standard with the inflatable floor now. If you already have it, like I bought it when it, when the aluminum floor came standard, I'd, I'd fire you, I'd buy that inflatable floor. That's the way to do it. A lot easier. I mean, there's still work. It's an inflatable boat. I mean, you're inflating it, you're moving it. R really, the the most energy is spent on that on the motor. It's a 20 horsepower uh, Tohatsu, 95 pounds. You don't need a 20 horsepower for that boat. You you could do a uh, nine, 9.9, whatever they make. Um, you could do a 15, but the, the 15 and the 20 are the same um, weight. That's why I got the 20. But it, it would do fine with a 9.8, uh, 9.9 .9 horsepower motor. Be totally fine. And that would take off, I don't know, I think that's around 80 some pounds. I don't remember. But uh, yeah, it, it was great. It was great. And this is the first time I used a trolling motor on the front transom. That worked great too. I had a real boy in the beginning. It was it was chaos. It was chaos. I got out there and I didn't have the uh, trolling motor already hooked into the battery, and the wind was insane. The wind ended up pushing me into the lily pads, and then my trolling motor got all jammed up with debris. My uh, Tohatsu got all jammed up with debris. Lost my glasses overboard. My Oakley glasses. Which it sucks, but it's okay. I've had them for a long time and they're, they're all scratched up. They're all beat up. I was thinking about getting a new pair. They're all beat up, but it sucks. Um, but yeah, it, it just, you know, I'm, I'm not, I don't do a lot of boating. Okay. I don't. And it just, it takes some getting used to, to just working everything, the engine and then the trolling motor, but I got a hang of it later on. I did. I got in an area where the wind died down and I was using that trolling motor every now and then just to reposition myself. They worked great. It worked great. I thought maybe you would, I would see a difference with less structure um, because of the inflatable floor with a heavier 20 horsepower engine. I didn't notice anything. I really didn't. I didn't notice one difference except it was lighter like when you lift that up to pull it out I walked it all the way back to my truck instead of uh, backing my truck up like I did this morning I just walked it back to my truck I lifted it up it was so much that's it was so much lighter when you have that aluminum floor in that's heavy man it is it's heavy I give the inflatable floor a 10 out of 10 I think it's necessary if you have that boat God, if you have one bigger than mine, they make bigger ones than the 12 foot. You definitely need it. I don't even know what the point of the aluminum floor is. Maybe someone knows. T someone tell me in the comments. Um, tell me the point of having the aluminum floor. I don't even know anymore. But anyway, I'll upload this tonight. Um, seems like a lot of people like my inflatable boat videos. I hope you do. Comment if you would. Ask questions like subscribe do me a favor and subscribe that would make me feel good okay do it that's about it man gonna go home spread all this stuff out let it dry off uh get a shower head to bass pro shop get a new pair of oakley's